to two pumps is really what I need this color payoff. Should I just get them all? Whoa. Hello, welcome to my channel, it's Crystal. Today I'm doing a try-on review of three Chanel products that I recently grabbed. These have been great additions to my summer makeup routine and I am obsessed. I'm wearing them right now for this look, but I'm gonna talk about each one, so let's get started. So first, I have the Water Fresh Complexion Touch. And look at this bottle close up. This one's unique because it has these ultra concentrated micro droplet pigments. It's actually made of 60% water and contains emollients to provide that extra hydration. And it's really this water-based gel texture. It just really feels more like a skin serum, skin tint that's really more popular in the market nowadays. So there's a total of 16 different shades available and I'm wearing B10 which is the lightest shade. It also comes with the brush like this that you can use to blend the micro droplet pigments. I also pump it on my hands first to blend it in and then use my fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and share how I do that. So with this one, you can use it all throughout the face as a base makeup or really touch up on specific areas and use it as a concealer. I'm going to use it for my entire face today and I would say a pump and a half to two pumps is really what I need to cover my face. I'm not sure if you can, can see it. This is the lightest shade that's available. So when you're blending it in, it also actually has a cooling sensation. So I've been really enjoying it for the summer because it's been so hot lately where I am and just feels really good on the face. So the B10 shade is actually slightly fair for me, but I honestly don't think it's bad because when I use blush and just kind of blend everything in, it does end up looking a lot more natural. I actually am okay with keeping the shade. I'm not typically a foundation user because I really prefer a natural skin-like makeup, but this one's been great. It has medium coverage. It does a good job without being it too much. Helps me achieve that skin-like makeup look and it's also very hydrating. And I just like that it's so light. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing base makeup, if that makes sense. It just feels like I wore skincare. So it just feels really light and it doesn't feel too heavy on my face at all. Next, I have the Water Fresh Blush. As you can tell from the name, it has the same concept as the Water Fresh Complexion Touch, but the blush formula contains 75% water, whereas the other one was 60%. So it's definitely more hydrating and you could feel a difference immediately when you put it on the skin. Like it definitely is hydrating. You want a pea-sized amount and definitely not a whole pump. I mean, unless you're really, really into blush, it's gonna pump a lot. The color payoff is amazing. For this reason, I do think investing in this bottle is really worth because it's gonna last you a while. So I have two shades available out of the six. I'm gonna use the Intense Coral on my left side of the face and then Deep Apricot on the right side of my face. So I'll do a little comparison and you guys can see what it looks like on my skin tone. Now, depending on how strong you like your blushes, you can kind of play around with the intensity. For the Intense Coral, it reminds me of a rosy pink shade on my hands, but on my face, it definitely shows up more coral. The Deep Apricot offers more of a bronzed, sun-kissed tint. I told you guys that a little goes a long way, but really, this is all I'm using. It's just so cool how strong the pigment shows up. Look at this color payoff. For me, I really like a subtle, natural looking flush. So what I do is I pump it on my hands, blend it in, and just really dab it using my fingers and then brush overall. I love this color because it just shows up really well on my face. So this is gonna look a little funny, but I'm gonna keep it like this so you guys can see the pigmentation and then I'm gonna use the Deep Apricot on this side and then eventually blend everything in. So same thing with the Deep Apricot. Same pea-sized amount, blend everything in.
This one definitely has more of an orange undertone into it and this one has more of a pink undertone. And what I like to do as always, I always try to leave some on tip of my nose like this just to add some color and give that flushed look. And once everything's done, I kind of just use a blending brush like this and blend everything in. Okay, then the other side. Can you just see how well everything blends in? Like the color payoff is really great, but it also blends in so well with the base makeup. And it just like looks so much more natural now. I should probably figure out how I'm gonna balance this two different shades on my face. So one thing I forgot to share for the blush is that when I have some pigment left on my hands because every drop matters at this point, I really like to dab it on my eyelids. So I'm wearing it right now as well. I'm wearing the Intense Coral, but it's a great base makeup, especially because it's so hydrating. So I've been really enjoying using it. The Intense Coral has been it just immediately softens my makeup and just gives this lovely vibe. Uh, I just love the subtle pink. It's very soft. I love the soft coral slash soft pink that's integrated within the shade. So I've been really enjoying it and I've been really satisfied before I leave the house. Hmm. This kind of matches this side, right? The deep apricot. And that's a wrap. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these or if there's a makeup product that you want me to review next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. So I already have two, there's four more in the entire shade range. Should I just get them all?